No, she went dead on us before we got it. We got a bearing, but no fix. Of course, she should belong to S-59, about 300 miles away. Mm, she is a straggler, isn't she? <coughs> Engine trouble, I expect. Right bang in the middle, too. What a place to get it, poor devils. The point is, just after we got her distress message, we got a line on this little fellow. We can only assume that he was the cause of the trouble. Anyway, it's the only clue we have as to a position. What a clue. In other words, from a practical point of view, you've no idea where she is. She may be anywhere inside this rather doubtful circle. Well, if you like to put it that way. In any case, we've detached two units from support group A. Go and hunt the U-boat. And if our assumptions are correct, they do stay. Have you all got your rations fired there, man? Yes, yes sir. Put that down a while, Jock. My down to that damn coal, I can't fumble this pin. Now, I'll give you an issue of prunes presently, and don't forget to keep the stones in your mouth. From my experience, it helps you to keep away the thirst. I've just suddenly remembered something, Captain. I was having, after the old ship got hit, I was having a route round the pantry and found a few little items that may come in very, very handy. There were two bottles of beer. Very good. Oh, that's good, Curtis. Very good indeed. There are two tins of sardines. Oh, if you don't funny. like the beer, you can get the oil on there. How's the patient doing for it there, Chippy? Oh, he's not feeling too bad, sir, now. Oh, good. Make him as comfortable as you can. What happened to the other lads, by the way? You tell them all about it, Bob. You was there. Well, I was standing midships talking to the cook when she got the hammer. Well, I run forward to get me pipe. And uh, that watch, you know, the missus bought me, I was telling you about... Uh, with the old man's insurance money, because I knew damn well if I didn't take that watch home, she'd say, well, he sold it for beer. So, anyhow, I got up, and by the time I got up the boat, half of them was in the boat, the other half in the ladder, and up popped Jerry. I don't know what the hell was that. I damn soon found out they opened up on him. Bastards. The fellows was dropping off the ladder into the water. I seen the fellows in the boat falling down. And just then she took a heave. I must have caught my foot in something, and I went down with her. I was going down and down and down, and then feel pressure on me here, in me ears. I thought to myself, this is it. And I think the boilers must have went. And I shot up to the top, and I had my eyes open, and I was looking up. and could see the sky getting brighter and brighter, you know, the top of the water. And I come up to the top, and by God, I thought it was an early plane. It really near come right out of the water. And I looked around me, all that was left was a few spots of oil. Not a damn soul anywhere. My God, I'd like to get hold of a couple of them chaps. I'd like to get all that dirty skunk with that machine gun. I'd fix him. Damn right I would. Now, men, the position is this. Things are not too good. They could be a darn sight worse. No SOS was sent out because the wireless had just blown to blazes. From my last position, we're just about halfway across which is roughly a 1,000 miles from the nearest land. Just old Jerry to work it out to make it nice and easy for you, eh, sir? But that's only the gloomy side of the picture, then. Don't forget this. We're not far off the convoy routes, and young Sparks there has a wireless set which will send an SOS for about 200 miles. Is that right, Duncan? Aye, that's right, sir. It's a fine reset. It better be, with either this or my jacket. What have you decided to do, sir? Make for Ireland. Prevailing winds and part of the Gulf Stream should be in our favour. Blimey, lads, it's fighting for all and I. You think our journey is really necessary, boys? <laughs> <laughs> Tripperary, it's a long way to go. Oh, I'm glad to 
Step the mast, lads. Let's make a start. Rogers, I'm away at the conference. I'll be back in a couple of hours. Yeah. How'd you tell me? Well, she's still down by the head, two feet. Great pity, you know. Oh, well, we can't help it. Nobody allowed ashore. No. Any cables to go? Letters? No, they've all gone. Want anything? No, thank you. Very well. Well, that's the last of the cargo, Chief. Good. Little grip is down there. He's like an old broody hen with that gun of his. Yeah, he's an old stickler too, Chief. Didn't like his breech block, so he sent it back to the depot for a new one. Said he only got one gun, he's gonna make damn sure it works. Let's hope he doesn't have to use the damn thing. Hi, Fox. Where the hell are you? You get the acid for your batteries? Yes, coming aboard in about half an hour, Chief. Remember my tobacco? Yes, cost you half a buck. Good, I'll send you the first drink once you get home. Well, same old racket. Any idea when we sail, Chief? Morning, probably. The old men's at the conference now. If you have small engine room defects, don't try and carry the burden all to yourself. Signal and tell me. And I will see if it is possible to reduce the speed of the convoy so that you can effect the necessary repairs without having to drop a stern and become a straggler. Well, that's all I've got to say, gentlemen. I'm very proud to be your Commodore, and I hope that we shall have a fine and successful trip. Are there any questions on that, gentlemen? Yes, sir. I'm not very happy about this reduction of speed. My ship's already trimmed by the head, and I'm liable to be very slow and sluggish on the helm and under six knots. And with the deck keg I'm carrying, if there's a strong quarter of the wind, I shall have a devilish job to keep station. Well, Captain, I can assure you that we shall not go slow speed for one minute longer than is necessary. But if you find yourself yawing about, signal and tell me, and then I'll let you know what to do. Well, now, gentlemen, the senior officer of the escort will say a few words to you. <clears throat> Good afternoon, gentlemen. This is how you can help your escort. Don't straggle or romp ahead, because I cannot afford to detach an escort for a few ships and thus weaken the protection for the whole convoy. I would like to support what your Commodore said about smoke. Smoke has been known to give away the position of the convoy for 30 or 40 miles and do make a special effort to keep a clear funnel in the evening because that is the time the U-boats may be closing in to uh, get our course for the night and we should be trying to put them down and our whole work may be ruined by one careless stoker. If you spot a U-boat, give him all you've got. Your splashes and your traces at night will act as a good pointer, and you never know, you might hit it. <laughs> Finally, if a serious attack develops, do not let us forget this. U-boat commanders, don't sail into attack with a happy heart. 
For them, it is a moment of extreme tension. And if at the critical moment we can take every offensive action, we shall weaken their resolution and they will share off and not press home their attack. Well, gentlemen, your escort will be doing their utmost to give you a safe and timely arrival, but we need your assistance. Are there any questions? <coughs> If there are no further questions, my executive officer will tell you a little about the air support you'll get from our Army Air Force. Well, gentlemen, from this side, you'll have Hudson spotting new boats for you for the first 600 miles. From six to 800, you'll have liberators and flying fortresses. Now, it'd be well for you to study the silhouette of the flying fortress and the fox wolf. Because if you're unlucky enough and meet a fox wolf, it's well to know the difference. down all right? Yes. Cabin of my own farming comfortable here, sir. Living like a prince, in fact. Good. Have a cup of tea while you're here, sir. Yes, thank you. I'll well. just rinse out the old coat. It's all right. I'll have you there. Sure. It's all right, then. Yeah, it's fine. How many practice rounds have we Ten, sir. Good. We'll use half of those tomorrow morning. We're having practice shoot. Good. How long do you reckon this trip going to take, sir? She should be home in about 16 days, I think. 16 days, sir? Let's run it a bit close. How's that? It's my wedding anniversary in about 18 days' time, and I've been trying for the last 20 years to get home and celebrate it, and I've never succeeded yet, and it don't look as if I shall this time. Well, I'll see if I can speed the convoy up a bit for you. Good, sir. I wish you would. Save me a lot of trouble if you did. Lightly, so lightly, so lightly, ha, 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 ha. So lightly, so lightly, so lightly, <laughs> so lightly, so lightly, so lightly, <laughs> so lightly, 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 so in a Persian uh, beer garden. <laughs> How the hell does that go again? Oh, uh... Yeah, oh, baby, Solomon. Come, Lilo, come, yeah. Talatin, Lilo, Talatin, yo. Come, Lilo, come, yo. I couldn't have done much better myself, but wake up, what the hell's the matter? Oh, you just had your dinner, didn't you? Didn't you enjoy your, your biscuit and your, what the hell they call Malted them? Milk. Malted milks. Yeah, well, I don't know, you look like an accident looking for somewhere to happen. <laughs> <laughs> now, something Liverpool. Oh, a German clockmaker to England once came. Benjamin Snooks was that clockmaker's name. He searched every street and he searched every lane. And he rang on his old bell and the old clock's to bed. With my toodle-lum-a-tum, toodle-lum-a-tum, toodle-lum-a-tum-tay. 
Damn it, I can't get it. What have you got? Dash, 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 E, dash, T. It's no use asking me, I haven't got that sort of a brain. Read it out again. Taylor's fish and beheaded angler make a good catch. Tell you what we want. Spot of Bob Hope. Fix this thing yesterday. I'll see if there's anything doing. Hello, you blokes. Hello. You got any weather reports through today? Not yet. Closer, that's it, eh? Music while you stir. Hello, codfish. William 305 calling codfish. Sounds codfish. interesting. Will you test my reception? Q-R-S-T-U-V-W-X-Y-Z. Are you getting this all right? Over. William 305, this is codfish. Receiving you loud and clear. How am I? Over. Hello, codfish. William 305 answering. You're a trifle woolly this morning. Over. Woolly, well, yes, but I wouldn't be without it. How am I now? <laughs> Hello, Codfish. William 305 answering. We're receiving it better now. How's it all going? Sure glad it's you and not me down there. No stomach for your kind of life. Over. Uh, we're going fine. Only just started. Carry out patrol XZ at AF miles, please. Over to you. Okay, fella. Anything you say. Good hunting. Good luck. Listening on. See, we had a fresh breeze last night. We hadn't got so much wind this morning. We'll give it two and a half. Two and a half will make it 60 from our last position yesterday. Well, that puts her here now. Well, I suppose they're still using this bloody ocean. It'll make a very good story for your paper, Mr. Russell. You're telling me. <laughs> I hope I get it uh, printed in time, though. You know, this is quite a change for me. I haven't done any sailing for years. Well, it looks like you're going to have plenty of time to make up for it now. Well, that's a lot for today. I hope somebody hears us this time. How about an encore, Sparks? You never know who's listening. Go on, Jock. Another one for his knob. Well, she'll so be running for a couple of minutes. We'll have to go easy on the batteries again. They don't last forever. Oh, I don't know, Sparks. Have another shot. I'd just do the trick. Oh, all right, sir. You're not doing so badly, lad. You've done 60 miles the last 24 hours. That's right. By the time we get home, beer will be half a dollar a blooming pint. Struggling rather badly. Try and do better. And get up into station. Three cables are stand with that chap ahead of you. Nothing much happening. Poor old thing. I suppose she's doing her best. It's a bit beyond her. Try some French, sir. French? Have a heart number one. You might hear me. Well, why not, sir? I can carry them a bit. Well, try opening one, then you can stop a straggler. <coughs> hello, hello. Belfast, Belfast. Uh, si vous plaît, uh, 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 what's the French for next to the head? Uh, have a break of better, sir. Uh, Advance à uh, trois câbles de votre prochain bateau. Hi, bien. I believe that's done it. Not a bad effort. Back it wasn't the fail, sir. On the contrary. 
come to him. Christmas, look at that. I warned them particularly about that at the conference. Uh, Bill France. Bill France. Uh, Defense to Fume, civil play. Defense to Fume. That's 18 days to go. Just about 18. Yes. That'll be tight on the rations, Chief. Steward? Yes, sir. One dipper a day. No. Very good, sir. Just about a gargle for each of us, lads. I have an idea of prohibition set in. All right, Bosun, I'll take a spell now. OK, sir. I'll have three times on the saloon deck. <laughs> Constitutional, eh? My God, they're a good crowd, Captain. You'd think they were out on a pleasure cruise or something, wouldn't you? Yes, but what'll we be like after another 18 days of this? That's the point. Mm. Do you know the Irish coast, Chief? No, but I'm looking forward to it very much. That's where the danger lies when we sight land. Come around, just one. Very treacherous coast, you know, right around there. It's rocks all along. It's bound to be a bit of a sea running at this time of the year, too. We don't just strike a sheltered cove or something like that. it would be just too bad for us. And that's that. Well, what is it that makes you all go back to sea? What's your reason, Fred? I don't know, really. Maybe it's because you always want something you haven't got. You see, it's like this with me. When I'm at home, I miss the sea. When I'm at sea, I miss the missus. In fact, between you and I, I don't know which I miss most. Now, when I do come home from a trip, me and my old Dutch hit it off a treat. But she just can't see me about the house too long. And that goes for me, in a way. Mind you, she's all right. But we just seem to get on better apart, if you see what I mean. I wonder what the old girl's doing now. Probably standing in a queue for something. There wouldn't be a woman in this war for anything. Well, you may have lost your hat, Tom, but believe me, I've almost lost the use of my legs. Well, a shock of her like he has, I wouldn't worry at all. <laughs> well, noon, eh? Well, I know what I'd be doing if I was at home now. In fact, I know what we'd all be doing. Tell me, Tosti, what the devil would you be doing? 1.40 now, going down to Fleet Street, walk into a local and get a tomato juice. A what? Bleed tomato juice. <laughs> <laughs> you know, somebody talking about boozers. Aye, the conversation is slowly returning to normal, Buck. <laughs> Still talking about boozers. Anybody here know the lifeboat down a poplar? What wouldn't I give me away for a nice pint there? Ah, you can't be the old owner, mate. Best place in the world. Nah, give me New York any time. Guns, I'll be daft. Be your eyes, son. Comparing New York with London. Chalk up another day on the calendar. That's the idea, Bob. Which will the time for us? It's a plane! Get out those flares, somebody. Quick, you, Chief. Something must be above the clouds. Can't spot us. There it is. Quick, hurry up with the flares. Hey! 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 Oh, well, I don't know, Bob, eh? Just if it can hear us anyway. No. Why can't I get a better look out up there, eh? Well, never mind, lads. That's a bit of a blow. Don't get too downhearted about it. We may have more disappointments than that before we're finally picked up. We may as well settle down to that right now.
say that you should keep your hair tidy. Every hair in place, always well groomed. Well, Sanita Hair Lacquer is a must for controlling unruly hair, especially the ends around the neck. Hence, it keeps your coiffure always expertly groomed. This is the Forces program. Now, here's a short recital of gramophone records. We're on the home stretch now, Bill. You can always tell when you hear the old BBC. It won't be long now. Dear, I get yours out this time of night. What do you think we are in the lake or something? Why the hell don't you dry up? If you wasn't pulling, you'd be bloody well freezing. Oh, pipe down, yo, no. What's the matter? Can't you be spoken to now? Hey, can't a man get a little sleep on this damn boat? You, you ought to be asleep your, in mate. the deep. You ain't any ballast, mate. You 1942 sailors, you ought to be an ice cream merchant. Ah, you always moaning. Can't be spoken to. Oh, you bad tempered old hunk of blubber. Shut up, you, um, or I'll go you. Stop, Roy. Did you hear that, Chief? Yes. Those are diesels, all right. There's only one thing that can be, a U-boat charging its batteries. Douse that light forage, you damn fools. Get rid of your cap, Chief. We don't want them to find any officers here. Can't say I fancy the idea of a trip in a U-boat. Don't you flatter yourself. If they sight us, they'll scup at the lot of us. Why, if we're picked up tomorrow, we could give their position away. They're not going to risk that. Johnny, Johnny, take the... Uh, 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 uh. What's the matter for it, though? It's our frost, sir. He's not too good. He's a bit delirious. Well, suck him. Knock him out, sir. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> oh. my soul, what a beautiful day. Awful. What have we done to now, Mr. Rogers? Four knots, sir. What? For God's sake, why? What's on now? One of them having a spot of engine trouble. It's the old Belle France. The whole convoy is eased up so that you can get fixed up. That's what I've been all the time. This damn slowing down. Damn and blast the Belle France. She'll have us in the starboard column in a minute. And we're yelling about all over the place. Check your helms, will you? Aye, aye, sir. 263, Sigmund. Uh, the Andertown. All over the place. 
Captains, huh? No. Never get, huh? Leander, number 63, is all over the place, huh? Looks as though she's almost out of control, sir. Come on. Aye, it's up. Watch it now, watch it, Mr. You're off. I know, sir. Well, sir, she's got two and a half turns of port and she won't answer. Well, give her more help. Well, I give her some more, but if I give her too much, she won't be able to catch her. Come, come, Mr. Rogers. Bring the ship back on a course, please. She's not answering her helm. I've got a snowball's chance in hell of keeping station with these revs. We'll have to give her more. All right, bring it up one night. Aye, aye. Again. And you. Jarvis. Uh, uh, right down for the Commodore. Uh, number 63, Leander, uh, is in difficulties and appears unmanageable at this speed. Uh, suggests she hauls ahead of the convoy tonight and rejoins again daylight tomorrow. Got that? Yes, sir. All right, Craig, out quick. We need to convoy tonight so we have a collision on the train. How do you know, Quartermaster? You just begin to feel it now, sir. I think I can handle her at this. No, I'm afraid it's no use, Mr. Rogers, that this people will be running down the next ahead in a minute. She's as touchy to handle as an angry woman. At four knots, we're helpless, and at five knots, we're a blasted menace. We'll have to bring her down again. Down ten. Well, there's only one thing for it, and that's to get the hell out of it. Send the signal to the Commodore and tell him I can't steer at this speed. And if I stay in the convoy overnight, I shall be a danger to all other ships. I want permission to go ahead and rejoin in the morning, or I won't answer for the consequences. Commodore welcomes your suggestion. The rendezvous tomorrow is unchanged. Oh, suits me. Full speed ahead, sir. Full ahead, sir. Hello, Chet. How are you getting on? Hello there, Griffey. Old cop. Come here and sit down. Have a cup of tea. Not a bad idea, that. There she is on the go at last, eh? And about time, too. She's rolling around something awful. Midships. Midships. Uh, steady as she goes. Steady as she goes. Now, up between the line of ships, she's all yours now. Aye, aye, sir. Ah, this is more like it, sir. Well, what's it look like? Nice little bunch of trouble, huh? Yes, quite a little cluster. H4 will be getting into trouble soon, too. Yeah, they'll have to divert them. I think if we bring her down somewhere like here, that seems to be all clear. Hmm. About 140? Should do. And then straight up for position Y. Uh -huh. uh, Thompson, make a signal to Commodore and Senior Officer Escort H4. Repeat it to Admiralty and um, Group F. All to course force with to 140 degrees for 15 hours, then star direct for position Y. This diversion means trouble ahead upgrade. Looks like it, sir. We would get diverted just after sending Leander ahead. She must be 10 miles off by now. Can't send a signal. Certainly can't afford an escort. Hope she'll be all right, sir. Well, she's got a good turn of speed. Signalman, make a reply to Commodore. Fully appreciate um, the end uh, position, but uh, I can't afford to send an escort for the convoy threatened. We have to gather up in the morning.
Sehen Sie dies, Herr Kapitän? Das hat doch nicht ein Konvoi. Ein nicht ganz. <lacht> ein Einzelfriese genügt mir. Dieses Lohn doch näher. <lacht> Sending Sparks. 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 Aye, sir. You all right, lad? Aye, sir. I'm all right. We'll start sending. What about the batteries, sir? They're not so good. Neither is Ross. Start sending. Nehmen Sie mir die Position. 55 Nord. 55 Nord. 17 West. 17 West. Was ist der Rätselhaft, dass Sie von unserer Position gesandt wurden? Wirklich? Aber natürlich, das ist von unserem Freund da oben. Ach, ich verstehe. Damit ist unser ganzes Problem gelöst. Auf, Perisco! Auf, Perisco! Wie meinen Sie, Herr Kapitän? Alles, was wir zu tun haben, wir warten auf das Rettungsschiff. Dann haben wir ein sitzendes Ziel für unsere letzten zwei Torpedos. Aha. Ein perfekt. Das The battery is nearly dead, sir. Look at the indicator. So keep on sending or keep a bit in reserve? Keep on sending. It's now or never for us, and I'm afraid. I ask. Him. Of it, sir. Well, I've checked that position three times. I'm not checking it again. We were on that convoy rendezvous this morning at one bell. You should have seen that convoy at least two hours ago. Not a sign of the convoy, sir. All right, young man, keep your eyes skinned out there. Aircraft coming up on the fourth quarter, sir. Action stations. Where's my tin bonnet? Here it is, the way you left it. Oh. Right away. Red bomb sir. There it is, I've got it. Make any of it at all? I don't know, sir. Might be Catalina or even a Dornier. Oh, thank God, it's not the Dornier. Stop loading! It's no good, it's a leak. No, I'll let better luck than you can. Turn everything. He's calling it up now. All right, take the lamp up the monkey and see what he's doing. Aye, aye, sir. I'll get your signal card, eh? Right.
What is he sending? He won't know where Leander is. Tell him yes. Aye, aye. Let's know what he's sending. I'll read the west down for you. Rejoin. Rejoin. Convoy. Convoy. Position. Position. Tom, is this the 14th day? Oh, I suppose it is. I don't know. What the hell's the difference whether it's the 14th or the 28th? Well, I must keep the old diary up to date, you know. Lifetime habit with me this, Tom. Blimey, lads, it's my birthday. And Van Gallery in Scotland. Aye. Many happy returns of the day. Thanks very much, Bob. Yes, and I'll tell you something. It's always been lucky for me. Met my wife on my birthday. Yes, that was lucky. And on my birthday a few years ago, back to lovely Dublin at Kempton. And two years ago, my mother-in-law was evacuated. God, what a present. And I think my luck will hold. You should see, we'll be picked up today. You wait. Now there's something to go on, eh? Let's go and check this coast. Put your helm out of starboard, quartermaster. Out of starboard, though. Well, 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 you're only a couple of days, Roger, isn't it? 54-17. Shut up. It's distress. So faint I can hardly hear it. I'll take that to the old man. The convoy should be there at four o'clock. If we steer 120 at 12 knots, we ought to get up to them there about five o'clock. Mr. Rogers? Yes. What is it? Distress me, sir. Very, very faint. Could hardly hear it. Sounds those batteries are almost flat. Thanks, they'll do it. Jason, eh? Oh, that's old Thomason's ship. He and I were shipmates many years ago. He's a grand old man, is Thomason. What's his position? 55 north. 55? Yes. Longitude? 17 west. Good gosh. Thirty miles away. Mm. Nearly on top of him. A good man to go from. Well, it's a big alteration, sir. We shall never join the convoy before they alter course for the night, and God knows where they'll be in the morning. Damn the convoy. Bring her on to Norris. Aye, aye. Fee for Periscope. Fee for Periscope. American Starwood. American Starwood. Who is Nancy? Who is Nancy? Thank you, sir. Drop of the real stuff, that. How are we doing now? Oh, we're doing all right. How are you feeling? Not too bad now. I must have dropped off. Forward there. Give a sharp look out. We're looking for a lifeboat. Immer noch nichts zu sehen, Herr Kapitän. Das kann eine Frage von Tagen sein. Nur Geduld. Ich hoffe nicht. Runde das Periscope. Runde das Periscope. 30 Meter. 30 Meter. Just half a dipper a day from now on to everybody, Stuart. Thank 
ਜਾਂਦਾ ਯਾਰ ਬਾਪ somewhere around here surely that all depends how accurate this position is Tantalizing, isn't it, John? Tantalizing's right. If only we knew there was nothing on the other side of that horizon, things wouldn't be so bad. It's the idea that there may be something to get you down. God, what a wilderness. Right over the spot now, and if I know old Bob Thomas, and he won't be far out on his dead reckoning. He must be around here, son. Let's go and have another look. Right. Sailor's got nine lines. Are oh, you looking where you've got about eight and three quarters left yet? What's the base, sir? Have you got one, of course? No, we'll keep it going a little longer. We may have drifted to another. Where the devil are they? Five minutes time we'll the southern, we might find them there. There is a ship. What? Over there on the starboard quarter. There are, Tommy, old friend. What did they tell you? Don't be too sure. It might be a German raider. Don't be so pessimistic. It's one of ours. Get those flares out for it. Slack away, your jib sheep. We're going about. Oh, ship. Oh, Frankie boy, that's the end of all our troubles. You boat on the starboard bow, sir. What's that? That's all right, Al. You'll be all right when we get you aboard that ship over up. Get you in your bunk, a nice hot totter room. Well, it was there. I saw it. Well, there's nothing there now, Elf boy. You take it easy, mate. You stop worrying about U boats. I tell you, I saw it. As plain as a pike star. You've probably been dreaming or something. You'll be all right. We'll have you fixed up in no time. Now, for the last time, everybody, I tell you, I saw that U boat. Now, you can do what you like about it. All right, Rawson. Don't worry any more about it. Steady on with that light, Murdoch. Douse it. Douse it, sir? We mightn't have been spotted. It doesn't matter whether they've spotted us, it's whether they've been spotted. Douse it! Damn silly idea to me. What the hell are you playing at, Captain? You're gonna stop here the rest of your days? Hold on, you jib sheet. No, aren't you coming about? No, I'm not. Why the hell not? Because I say so. Well, if you won't come about to go after that ship there, we'll bloody soon put somebody up there and will. 
What do you say, lads? What are you going to do about it, Captain? Now, listen, everybody. Do you realize what it means if Rawson did see a U-boat? He seen no bloody U-boat. He's been raving for two days. A whole ruddy lot of us would be raving if we carry on like that. That's the way to talk, Pat. Shut up, the whole damn lot of you. Listen to me. What you don't realize is, if Rawson saw that U-boat, and there's plenty of them around here, that ship's as good as sunk. Now, are you prepared to see that happen? You, O'Malley? Are you, Evans? Are you too, Banner? How would we feel if we let that ship come up and be sunk in front of us without us doing anything to prevent it? Speaking for myself, I don't want to have it on my mind for the rest of my days. But surely, it's a chance in a million of you boat being out here. Why, a U-boat can be anywhere these days. You could have picked up our SOS the same as any other ship. Isn't that right, Sparks? Aye, sir. I'm afraid it is. Do you remember that U-boat we heard the other night? You may have been shadowing us for days. Just using us as bait. This is the chance he's been waiting for. You still don't know whether Rawson saw a U-boat or not. Yes, it is possible he didn't. Yet personally, I think he did. Anyhow, we'll take no chances. Chances, eh? It's our lives you're taking chances with. And we're not going to stand for it, you hear? There you are, risking all our blooming lives. Just because a man off his head thought he saw a U-boat. Twenty-four men in here, mister. You speak for yourself. Now look here, Banner. Are you ready to take chances with the lives in that ship? You know what happened to your own shipmates in the Jason? You want that to happen again? It may do, you know, if we don't do something to stop it. Well, are you with me? Well, you've brought us this far, Captain. I think we'll stick to the end. Very well, then. There's only one thing we can do, and that is carry on the way we're going. If that U-boat spots us making for that ship, she's as good as gone. Well, keep a sharp lookout all around for a periscope. If any of you see one, for God's sake, don't point. Just shout periscope. Then's our chance to fool them. Stand up for it and act as if you see a ship coming from over there. That may just mislead them long enough to let us get a signal through. Now, is that clear to everybody? All right, sir. Trust those sausage-eating skunks to think of something dirty and rotten like that. 16, 15, 14, 13, 12.8. Periscope tiefe. Auf Periscope. Auf Periscope. Zwei vorüber. My God, Alf was right. Finish go. Now's our chance to put him off the trail. Plenty of waving of the hands and pointing right ahead. Can I hear something? About two points off the bow. Yes, the red sail. Give me that telescope, please. Yeah, that's them all right, thank God. Not far off the position either. The fine bit of navigation there. Good old Tommy. That means it's in that bottle, right? It's one of the finest navigators I know. Stop it a little, quartermaster. Also, you have not was gesichtet. Wirklich? Fabelhaft. It's not doch nicht so lange gedauert. Ach nee. Das ist fein. Ich sehe ja gar nichts. Aber die oben haben eine weitere Sicht. Na, jedenfalls nach kurzer Zeit müssen wir es sehen. Und dann unser letzter zwei Torpedo gut gezielt. Und dann nach Haus, was? Mhm. Ja. Runter Periscope. Runter Periscope. Hello, there's something wrong here. They're sailing in the wrong direction. They can't have spotted us. Shall I give them two or three blasts? By all means, Mr. Rogers, give them three cheers on the whistle. Good Put up. the joy of life into them. All right, it's all right, we can hear you. Making more noise than a dog full of tugs. Not very funny, ain't it, eh? We've been in this boat 14 days waiting to be rescued, and certainly the old boat comes along, we don't want it. I don't know, funny how it goes, isn't it? 
is coming up on us all the time. Why don't you use the flares again, Captain? Don't risk it, Chief. They take it for the order and distress signal. Now, the only thing to do is to try and flash a signal through. You have a chance in a million of getting a signal through that way, Captain. Even that's worth taking. There's nothing else we can do. Hurry up with that canister, Tom. Aye, aye, sir. Get up, Tom, and you, Curtis, shield me on this side. Damn that sun. That sun's gone for half an hour or more now. Verloofd, it must be still there. Da. Where are all the deals to narren? Neugierig. Das ist das. Komm her, Evenfels. Schauen Sie mal her. Ich plane zur Vorheit, Herr Kapitän. Ich täusche mich selten von Evenfels. Hat Steuerwort. Hat Steuerwort. Kurs 3 und 5. Kurs 3 und 5. Und der Pesco. Backboard voller Gas. What the devil are they playing at? They're still heading in the wrong direction. Probably too exhausted to keep a good lookout. Give them two more tits in the bus. Aye, aye, sir. You, Bain, and you, Alexander, hack that boat hook in two. Tie those two blanket containers onto the halves. And the U-boat commander would be a damn fool if he hasn't started it by now. The only thing we can do is to make colour and semaphore. Stand by, everybody. I'm going to go round. Aha, the sin is the last. They're coming about. About time, too. God, I'd like to see the faces of those chaps now. Well, we've got them directly. I'll fetch around on the port side and get them what lever is. Mr. Thompson, slip down below and see your ladder fixed on the port side with a heaving line. Tell the cook to heat up some broth and have those bunks all ready for those men. Aye, aye, sir. Start sending. You boat to starboard, keep clear. Hmm, they're waving, I think. God, they must be relieved, poor devils. Because if they're trying to signal... Quartermaster, hand me that telescope, will you? Aye, aye, sir. Thank you. Funny, they stopped now. Make anything of it at all? No, they'd stop before I got them into focus. But it's pretty obvious what they're trying to tell us. I think we can take it as red. Here's your boat for the kids. Yes. yes. You want to put it away then? It'll be worn out by the time you get home. Barney, we want to break down gang here already, eh? <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me, Bill, if the nipper never sees this. Poor devils, I know how they feel. Two days of it was enough for me. Oh, well, we'll soon have the safety aboard now. Keep a look at up here for a couple of minutes, will you? Sure. Shan't be long. Who's the bear's coat? Who's the bear's coat? I'm on the cage again. What do you want? A little bit of waste you don't want. Mine's all wet through. Well, I go down the lower peak, get it on the starboard side shelf there. Thanks very much. Right there. The Pedro Ericlair. The Pedro Ericlair. Put the periscope. Root the periscope. Where is it, Major? Well, it won't be long now. Fortifying quartermaster. Check it up in the chest. Hello, they're standing again. Yeah. 
A T Otto U Otto What the hell is Otto? The I got it, Hugo! Well, I'll just stop it! Get it over! Come on! So Get it over! For God's sake! Lively! Go oh, Peter and stop it! Here comes another one! Stop it! Stop it, huh? Stop it, this is my lucky hand. Are you alright? Yes, thank you. How about you? Well, that's that. We've done our best anyhow. I'm all right. Anybody help below? Nobody's hurt. The pants is all to hell. That's the least of our troubles. Rogers, do you think that second torpedo came from the same submarine or not? Looks like the same one to me, sir. Whether there's one or more, they'll probably hand us another one in a minute. Maybe you're right. Harris, stand by the bush, let go the lashings. Rogers, slip down, see what the damage is. I'll get hold of the chief on the phone inside. I'm being compassionate. Hello? Captain speaking. Gun screw closed up and cleared away, sir. Is there any sign of it at all? I don't know what it is. Somewhere ahead. You stand by that gun and give them all you got and don't wait for the order to fire. Hello! Which is no more idea than we have, so keep a sharp look out, everybody. What is it? There's a hole here you can drive a blasted bus through. Sound one and two holes, sir. Aye, aye. Hello, Spark speaking. Better get the old panic brakes back. Yes, sir. Take this down, Dick. Latitude 55, nothing 3 north. 17, nothing 2 west. Request assistance with tugs. Don't get my stuff, Dick. No, no. I don't. Verdammt, nur ein Torpedo hat gesessen. Die ist vorhin getroffen. Hab ich schon lange Zeit sinken. Well, what do you think? Well, well everything depends on those spotted bill heads, sir. There you go, I give the old ship a quarter of an hour. Quarter of an hour? Ha, huh, quarter of a minute, and Jerry shoots another one into us. There's no point in waiting for it. The best thing to do is get the men off the boats and stand off for further orders. I'd like you to stay here with me because I'm not going to abandon the ship till I have to. There's no point in keeping these men on the ship till we find out what you boat's going to do with us. Hello, Chief. How very ship, Captain? Pretty badly, Chief. How are your engines? Well, the engines are making water for number one pump line, but I think we can hold it. How many men do you want down there? Oh, the second engineer and I can handle it, sir. Right. Then all others were in the boats. Oh, I'll get right away on the pumps. Good man. All right, get your boats away. I'll go for them. Have a look at those boat heads again, sir. Any reply to our signal sparks? Yes, sir. A message just come through from Port Patrick. Good. I'll do you now. Both on the boats meantime, right away. Get that jacket on, young man. Yes, sir. That's the first time I've sent a message this far. You're a damn sight luckier than most of us. Gonna have a cold trip. Mr. Thompson, get your guns crew into the boats, pull away for a quarter of a mile, and stand by for further instructions. Okay, Harris. Leave the guns at the clearance, abandon ship station. Aye, aye, sir. Are you all here? No, no the ship's missing, Chief. Anyone seen him? No, Chief, only just come up. Billy and I were up on the platform about a half an hour ago, and he was there then. Anyone looks in his cabin? No, I didn't. Let's go and have a look. No, don't mind. Mr. Thompson, take them all to the boat and pick up your life jackets on the way. Get all the warm things you can. I 
Hello, Timmy. Down number two, Hello. Mein Gott, was würde ich jetzt für ein Torpedo zahlen? Is that you, boat circling? Come on, this way. Let's get along to that gun. Just a chance I've been wanting for years. Come on, what are we waiting for? This way. Niemand meer. Verzoeken Sie van Revenpels. I'll find out where she is. Look out, I don't see you, sir. 
kann auch niemand sehen, der Kapitän. Aber es ist doch gewagt, an die Oberfläche zu gehen. Wir haben es jetzt fertig zu machen. Come on, let me see this way, Griff. He's right here to stir. Up here. Keep behind the tank, Griff. He's coming around on the fourth quarter. Watch out. Here she comes, sir. Here she comes. We crawl along the gun platform. We can't be seen then. You notice the tray was loaded, sir? Well, I hope that means a loaded gun. I wonder what they're going to do. The odds are she's going to surface, sir, or she'd let us have another fish long before now. Well, there's nothing we can do about it while that periscope's showing. All we've got to do is wait. Well, I'm used to that, sir. This reminds me of old times. We had a couple of years in the cube boat for the last war. The sheep is full standing for Lawson. We are down now. Not the local flesh. Not the local flesh. Learn. Learn. The ship is out to the trail station. The ship is out to the trail station. Run the periscope. Look at the periscope. Look, it's going down, sir. It's going yeah. down. Right, it's gone. Now, we better get this gun loaded. Yes, it's loaded, all right. We'll unload the train in case they jump out when we fire. What do you reckon the range is? About 400, Jeff. I'll give a 600 deflection to right. That do? Right, hello. I'll train you about 50 yards ahead of the last periscope site. That should about do it. God, what a stutter if she comes up. Should be if we're any good. She comes. Keep it. Won't be long now. Won't be long. It's the first one out of the conning tower now, they look. Come on, Griff. Let's bang away at it now. No, it's no good. Since you crash die before we get the range, we do. We've got to wait until that gun screw gets out. There's more up now. Looks like they're going to mount a machine gun there, sir. I think the time's come. I'll give it on. On, 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 on. Here we go. Down to one and we're over that time. Was passiert, Herr Bruno? Was ist da los mit euch? Bring das Geschütz zum Feuern. Das MG nimmt die Kolonie auf, Skrillen. Schnell.
Work, chaps. Extremely good shooting. Congratulations. Hello. Is Griff hurt? Dead. Oh, I'm sorry, Rogers. Cops is calling. I got a message for you. I want you to search for Ronpa, SS Leander, number 63. She'll be well out to the northeast. to see you. Tom, glad to meet you again. Well, Jack, you of all people, after all these years, I'm sorry you didn't get my signal. If we hadn't got it, we'd have a two to fit instead of the one. The fourth peak's going out of an hour, still. Things could be much worse. If that bulkhead holds, we're all right. I've sent some tugs, we may not need them. 